We often talk about Djokovic as being, you know, probably the, or if not one of the, greatest returners of all time. And I feel like we wouldn't be saying that if it was coin flip based statistics. Um, 58 sounds too high. I'm going to logic this. I will say it's 55 because I'm going to go away. He he has to be the greatest for a reason. That has to be beating the coin flip. Although technically, you, you're meant to destroy. You're meant to lose pretty much every return point based on the advantage of serving. So 50 percent is probably still quite good as well. Um, I'm going to go with 55. That is correct. Yeah, it's 55 percent average return points won through Oosh. his career. Yeah, so that's similar to what we said with Alcaraz last time. But, of course, those yeah. statistics were just for this year. This is mm. an average across his career, which is pretty incredible, really, when you think about it. Yeah, any player would be Absolutely. happy to have that in just one season. Um, so what we, what, what I want to know is kind of why are his returns so consistent? What If you could break it down to maybe a couple of key points, what do you think enables him to... Yeah, not only win these return points, but what makes him consistent on the return, which leads to winning the points. Oh, you give me the chance to demonstrate some coaching knowledge here. Um, first thing, and first major thing, is that short backswing. You can't be a great returner without that short take back, uh, giving you the ability to time pretty much any return. You're not trying to destroy a return most of the time. Again, you're trying to get it back at the top of the world, you know, top of tennis uh, in the world. Next thing, I would say, obviously, his agility allows him to reach for balls at angles that others may not quite be able to get in into their zone. Uh, so there's that to consider as well. Double-handed backhand, they tend to be better returners. Um, that's just a generic sort of principle of the game. Um, I say that I'm a one-handed backhand player. You're the same. You know, it's... It's a sad place to be, but not you can't be a good returner, but you'll never be the best. Uh, yeah, it. I would say those are the key things. But I'm sure you're going to tell me something else. Well, no, I agree. The backhand point is a very good one because, yeah, even yesterday playing in, especially, I actually find them more of an issue in doubles because you have limited space to hit into and you feel that pressure mm. more. And with the single hand of return, you just, you can't apply the same amount of pressure I, I feel like it's harder also to control that hitting point. I think when you've got a single hand off the return, you just don't have the stability of having that extra hand, basically. So I think that, yeah, that's a really key point. And I think just getting your your weight into the ball. Like when you, if oh, you watch yeah. any slow mos of Djokovic returning, he has the split step, obviously, which is really important. But then it's always like a almost like a lunge forward. On, off, onto his left foot for the forehand return and onto his right foot on the backhand return and obviously having that agility to stretch. But I think getting your weight going forward is one of the hardest things that I like, common mistakes I see because the ball is obviously, especially off the first serve, coming pretty quickly and your natural reaction or tendency is to lean back a little bit, which actually mm. limits your ability to get the return deep, which is one of the most important things. We talk about exactly that when it comes to serving as well. The idea that if you're throwing a ball up and then that ball starts to drop as you're going up to the ball, your initial reaction is, oh, that ball's coming towards my face. I don't want to go towards it. I want to lean away. And this is where a lot of people obviously miss out on their serves because they're moving away from a ball that they should be moving towards to really strike. Um, you're right. It's exactly the same when it comes to something like a return. Uh, if you find... You know, when you're playing, and this this is for anyone, that you aren't quite seeing the ball as well, like you find the pace is a little bit too fast, and that means that you have that panic instinct, very natural, very normal. Um, you just have to see the ball more often. So you just have to basically put yourself in a scenario where you're dealing with it, and then you will get better at it naturally. Just take that short swing, you will get better. That retur Those returns always, al almost always get better. Hey there tennis friends, thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed that episode then you might want to click here for this one. See you there.